What's up folks, you know who it is. Now, this is a video about once, what once was, as far as nostalgic video. What YouTube once was for the Skylander community. Let me tell you something. It was a totally different time. You know people say, well back in my day, well this is basically what this video is, basically, I hate that word. Basically, go look at all the YouTubers, I'm talking about anybody, and they always say, well basically, well ba I, I, oh, every time I say it, I cringe, I, just, I Every time I hear it, I'm like, I don't know, it's, it's just a go-to word to say. Anyways, um, I recently got the Master Tide Pool. I recently got Blastertron. We're not here to talk about that, though. We're here to talk about once, what once was. And this is a nostalgic video, so if you don't want to hear it, it's all good. But I've been, I really have to talk about this now because it's on my mind. And it just sucks. It just absolutely sucks that the way it is now. If you're just now joining Skylands, I feel sorry for you. If you were there two to three years ago on YouTube and watching people chat with each other and watching the hype, the Dark Spiros the, on, the, on the website, if you were there, it would have been a totally different, <laughs> you would have a totally different view. Some people are still here. Some are still here from the time when I joined. Um, you know, when I first started YouTube, I wanted to join them, those guys. I wanted to be like, hey man, I joined right when it started at the end of swap, end of swap for us, because I didn't get into the game till Giants, and I and I every day during the summer I was looking when the next when the next wave coming out, what's the next game coming out? Ooh, swap for us. I got swap for us. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's just a big, it was a big deal. So I said I'm gonna do YouTube because like these guys, Malastall, I found him and I found P Diddy and of course I found the coin the four. I wanted to get into these guys, the the Coin Up TV, Asian Guy Gamer, W Drums. And um, obviously, Skyline the Boy and Girl. But, and these guys were heavily, these are the main guys I watched. They, they, all, they, got, they went to the press conference, they sat down, they talked. Those were awesome videos. Though, that was the time, man. You know, got to ask them questions, they got to find out the new characters. And it was just the, the reveal of Swap Force. Still, butterflies. I still love that. You can get with this, you can get with that. And them swapping and clicking. And, and I mean, I'm going to do it right now just because. Where are you at? I can't even get a swap one. You can get with this. You can get with that. Uh, the, the, uh, the idea of a swapper. Jade firecracker. Gosh. So beautiful. Anyways. Um, that was a perfect time. Because of my age. Obviously, I was like three years younger. So mentally I'm a little bit different. Um, so... Um, you know, you got to watch these guys on YouTube and how exciting it was. And, and you got, and you just, the and at the time I didn't know anybody on YouTube. I didn't, nobody talked to me, you know? So I said, to, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna do my YouTube because I want, I want to see if I can reach these guys out and see if I can connect with these guys in some way, you know? Um, I wasn't trying to be the next guy on their dad. Even though my first video I said I was coming for him, but that's just kind of like a, you know, poking fun, like joking, because there's no way in hell, you know, <laughs> no one's reaching that. So, um, Anyway, so yeah, I did my first video and I begged Malice all, look at my videos, man, look at my videos, man, check me out, just to let them know that, hey, man, I'm an older guy just like you, I love the game just like you, and I'll, I have some some opinions you might appreciate, and, uh, you know, P. Diddy and them reached out, man, and Malice Doll, he did me, he did a little interview, and at that point, I think a lot of people were watching, uh, some of the younger kids, not channels, because they had more subscribers than me, but like Striker Hero Camo and some other guys, they were watching the interview and they said, okay, this guy's cool. I think I kind of like what he's talking about. And Malice Doll basically said, keep doing what you're doing. We love what you do, blah, blah, blah. He basically gave the green light. And after that, all hell broke loose, man. I'm telling you. It seemed like every, you know, every couple days I get a couple 20 subscribers. It kept going up and up. And the word got, I don't know, so the word spread about something. I mean, I only got, I'm talking like I got millions of subscribers. I only got 1,300. But still, that's nothing to throw a rock at. But let's be honest about that. There's probably only 100 people that still care. Because the other subscribers are probably just people that, you know, randomly subscribe. You know you get the random subscriber guys. But, um, and I probably total out of the three years I've been on YouTube, maybe you've got 200 bucks, you know, off of the, the uh, partnership. But, you know, so that just tells you, I don't get, my biggest view on a video is 14,000 views on one video. That's over three years though. So anyways, um, there's people out there that get 200,000 videos on one video. You know who I'm talking about. Um, anyways, so, but I'm just talking about the era and the time 
You know, what, what gave me a glimpse, a tear in my eye? What gave me a little smile on my cheek last night? Because to watch me talk in these videos and how excited, the momentum, the, 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 the energy I had to put in these videos was crazy, man. I was outside doing crazy things, getting hot dog and mustard thrown on my face for my own hot dog. I was uh, riptide. I was getting water shoved in my face. I was doing pop, pump, punch pop fizz uh, dress up. I was doing sanding, trying to sand paper, sand, trying to sand paint off of characters. I was, I mean... I was doing crazy videos, not because I was, uh, well, not because I was reaching out for subscribers, but just because I wanted to be funny for you guys. I don't want to just be some random guy talking like this in my videos. That's boring as hell. I want to be out there making you guys laugh. That's what I do. I'm like, you know, sometimes people need to tell me to shut the hell up because I talk too much. So that's why YouTube is such a good outlet. But anyways, at the time when I joined, like I said, I started getting like subscribers coming up and people were like, you know, striker hero camera. I was like, bam, you know, here's a banner for you. And till this day, I still have that banner up. That's how much I appreciate it, man. Um, people were giving me, int I'm not copying Fred, I was giving me outros and intros to my videos. Um, but then I ended up changing it because I was like, want to do some stuff for myself. You know, I don't want everybody doing everything for me. Um, it was much appreciated though. But I think you got, I think, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not copying Fred. You're probably not watching this, but if you are, I think you kind of got disappointed when you first met me on live chat and you realized that I didn't talk like this. I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, this is Steve Smith, everybody. Oh yeah. You know, I was just a, I tried to entertain, right? Had the hat and the necklace, you know, that's how... That's what I did, right? But then if you live chatted with me, you know I talk like this. I talk like a regular guy, you know, like you know, like I'm talking with you guys now. Uh, but I think he even said in the live chat, he's all, oh, you don't even talk. I thought you talked differently or something like that. I remember. But, you know, you got to figure he's a young kid now still. You got to think about back then three years ago, even three years earlier. So, you know, he's, you know, young teenager going like, uh, this isn't the, the, uh, the, the WWE wrestler, not wrestler, but, you know, someone putting on a show. That's what I was doing. I was putting on a show because, you know, I wanted to be entertainment and all that stuff. But, you know, P. Diddy and Malice Doll and Caden Yurick, I got to meet those guys. But let's go back to those four guys. So during that time, I wanted to reach out to these guys. And then, like I said, they all, eventually I got to interact with everybody. Caden Yurick came into my life. He sent me a message saying, hey, on my giveaway video, he said, hey, make sure you do this and do that because I did this one time and I got in trouble for this and that. So don't do what I did. He gave me hints and pointers. So shout out to him. That's how we connected. And boom. And I start. And the reason why I connect with the older folks more than I do with the younger kids, because I'm an older guy. I'm not trying to <laughs> live chat with younger kids. That just doesn't seem right. So I'd always stay, you know, with the older kids, uh, older crowd. Obviously, I connected with the older people more. But um, but we all connected in a in a in a in a way, and it was all about Skylanders. And the number one, another number one idea or fact is that my daughter was involved. She was involved in a bunch of the videos we were watching today, just watching her being a baby and squirting mustard on my face and saying mustard, mustard, and the laugh and the joy and the and the la and that that <laughs> you know I'm getting choked up on that one. <clears throat> Anyways, woo, change the subject on that. But the time, the era, was crazy. You had those four guys: uh, W Drums, Skyline the Boy and Girl. Um, and the uh, coin op and Asian guy gamer, they were they were so into the game. Those are the guys I watched. Those are the it was like an echelon. It was like you know you 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 start off low and then you, you have the big dogs on top. And and the moment that I actually was a was an you know face not FaceTime but like um uh, we actually live chatted with with uh, Pete Diddy and and uh, and uh, Kate and Yurik and Malice Doll. We we got into this little group right. We always got on Instagram. We chatting each other and sending pics and what's this? What's that? What's that? You know, but the high echelon were those four guys. And the moment that, the one thing I would say about Coin Out TV, he always commented on my videos way before anybody else. So shout out to him. But I think the first one that ever said anything about me in their videos was Asian Guy Gamer. He actually made a video about a response about how he started Skyliners. He said a response to Steve Smith, whatever. The label, the actual, the the title of the video. And to me, even though, he, I think he even put the link to my video because I woke up and had a couple more subscribers. I was like, what is this about? And to me, just the just the mentioning of my name was, that's it. That was it. That's all I needed, right? Malice Doll shot you. You started me off. But you know when Asian Guy Gamer, those are the guys that were there from the beginning and they start and they did all that. When he said that in his title, that's it. That's all I needed. I didn't care anymore. I was like, well, you know, not that I made it, but the fact that he recognized another YouTuber talking about Skyliners well enough to make me a make me a topic in his video. So that's awesome. So I knew from that point I wanted to do that for others if I ever got a chance. 
So that's why, I, you know, I do some shout-out videos. I did GB Games. You know, he shipped me a Scorp one time. But I did the shout-out video before he even sent that to me, I believe. Um, you know, I did Portermaster9351. Um, I did a shout-out video for him because he definitely still, he's still rocking. And that kind of leads me into something else now, the way I feel about Skyliners and YouTube and social media and everything, how I feel about it now and how it's definitely different. Uh, definitely different. Um, so I did those videos and I was trying to people like, hey, don't just look at me, look at these guys, man. These guys I watch also. So um, it's just cool to, you know, Portermaster 9 have one, he's a younger kid. Uh, GB Games, he's an older guy like me. So it's cool to see older point of views and younger point of views. It's not just cool to see one flat rate, right? Because everyone's pretty much going to be kind of the same wavelength on different age range, right? And it's just, I, I'm, and I'm anxious to see how, um, how Portal Master 9351, how he fades out of the Skylander thing. He's very much into the game. Shout out to you because it keeps people alive, keeps people's hearts pumping. You know, when you hear excitement in his voice, it reminds me of how I would be if I was his age. It reminds me like a younger me. I've said it before. But he's very, he stands in front of his characters. He stands up. He's very animated. He has like swords. He does things that seem, stuff I would do. Stuff I still do or still did. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, that was a, a great, awesome time to be on YouTube. And the sad part about it is, the sad part about the whole thing is that it will never be that way again. I don't see Asian Guy Gamer coming back to YouTube and going doing Skylander hunting videos. I don't see Skylander Boy and Girl doing uh, rap video songs. I don't see um, um, W Drums doing Path Guides. Oh, he might. He might actually come back and do some. But you know what I'm saying? It's just different. Like he was doing during Giants and everything. That probably won't happen again. I don't see Coin Up TV standing in front of his figures anymore and talking about Skylanders anymore. You know, I don't see that happening. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. It probably will not happen. Um, the feeling I get will never be the same. I, um, um, uh, Malastal, we don't talk no more. Um, you know, we used to chat all the time. He's still my friend, still my buddy. If he ever chats on my videos, which hardly ever, but, you know, I always comment on his videos every now and then. Um, you know, P. Diddy, I always, we always chat each other's videos. K. Nurek, you know, he... Um, he sold all his characters, all Skylander characters. So, I mean, it'll never be the same. And it's sad. It sucks. I'm a type of guy that holds on to everything. I hold on to memories. I hold on to... I'm a hoarder, if you want to say that. Whatever. I still got the same car from when I was 19, 20 years old. I uh, got a watch I've had for days. I don't, I don't like... I'm not a very, very materialistic guy. If it's a new computer or something to upgrade my Warcraft, of course... If it's new PS4 to make Skylanders look good, yes. But other than that, I'll rock the same dirty, stinky couch. I'll rock the same shoes till the soles fall off. I'm just that guy. I don't care about medals and jewels. and I don't care about that. But what I do care about is memories. Whew. Whew. So anyways, sorry. So, what, sorry, whoo, hard on the sleeve, I guess, but it wasn't about the game, it was about the time that was all in. <laughs> My voice, are you kidding me? Oh, God. <clears throat> so, if you ever had a chance to go back during that time, go back two or three years ago, watch all our old videos, and you can kind of see the excitement, the excitement of, you know, Mouse Dog getting his characters, and looking through all the waves, you know, me doing all stupid videos, uh, just... All that stuff, man, the the, the hunting with Kate Yurick and his family. and It's crazy, and it will never be that way again. But I will say, if you ever want to check out a new channel, or one you haven't checked out, check out Jap28, man. That's a guy that I think that could keep this thing alive. Um, definitely check him out. Um, he does crazy visuals and his opinions, and he loves Skylanders probably more than any of us, because this whole house is decorated in it. Anyways, this is what this video is about. Once what once what once was. Whew, that was hard to get through. Um, yeah. So, anyways, <sighs> I had to cut a lot of that out. Um, <laughs> so, till next time, man. Hope we get some news on this new Skylanders or something. I'm still rocking and rolling. I just want to tell you guys what it once was, and um, it just sucks. Whew, it'll never be that way again, man. I'll tell you. So, all right.
later. And shout out to all those Porter Masters I gave shout outs to. I still love you guys, and you know what time it is. I love my dad. Spirit. 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 Spirit.